on you on that, please. Frank, turn on, Royal. Zoom in. All right, now pan right. Yes, that's affirmative. Male, late 30. Six males, quadrant nine. Give me the middle one. AG, not a bad. Agent 486, squawk and ident. Need your position. Cameras on Decatur, now online. Heading north like Clinton. All right, let's get a sweep moving southeast on Toulouse. Strike, on Conte, 800 miles. Negative, it's not a match. Okay, Bulldog, take the northwest quad. Gator, hold firm, cover that east bank. Samuel's in position. We are just waiting on miles, sir. Need a whole new sweep of the area starting in quad one. Let's get all bank A cameras online. Danny, you're not feeding the dog, are you? No, I'm looking for my badge. They give you two things when you're a cop, a gun and a badge. I have one. Can't find my badge. It's, it's on the thingy. Thing, the thing. I was just over by the thing. It's not there. Shorty, sure, remember our plan. You're going to stay strong. I'm going to give you food, all right? Just don't tell Mom I gave you that, all right? Daniel Fisher. I'm trying to build the world's most dominant pug. He's going through a bulking phase. Look at him. That is bad. Come here, I'll show you the thingy. Buy the thing. I'll just buy the thing. It's not <laughs> the thingy. This is the thing. Yeah. I didn't know you meant that thing. Of course not. It's here. You know, I still got like 10 minutes. Yeah? It only takes you two, honey. Come on. I don't think it's a strong two. <laughs> Good work. Be safe, okay? Love you, Shorty. Right. Hey, Hank. Hey, Molly. <laughs> oh, shit. I am definitely not smarter than a fifth grader. Hey, man, what's going on? So, you, uh, you gotta get permission from the old lady and the dog now to come to work? Huh? Just the dog. <laughs> hey, homework. FBI is tracking this guy through the corridor. They need some handholding. Coming out of the hotel. Target matches four out of five points. Gators on Royal, 200 block. All available. Agents, scramble. We need a clear lock. Get audio in place. He's moving towards Bourbon. I'm 50 yards back. Come on, people. I can't afford to lose this guy again. I'm in position. Target heading towards me. Clear shot. Hold position. Sir, the locals need Shut it. up. Show me that Irish bastard. The firm, all teams, we have a positive ID on Miles Jackson. You want to see the face of the devil? There it is. Brought down transatlantic flight 212, bombed the American embassy in Frankfurt. The man decapitated his own brother for blowing a deal in Tangiers. It's game day, people. Let's go. Got him. He's got his cell phone out now. Sir, he's making the call. Hey, open up Samuel's feet. It's an incoming call, sir. Still encrypted. 
15 minutes. The abandoned wharf on Permission Way. Miles is bringing the weapons and we're making the exchange. I got three TAT cameras, including the harbor train. I need Team One to get me set up inside. Samuel, remember our deal. You ever want to see your brother again, you do as I say when I say it. We get Miles, we get the weapons, you and Joshua get your freedom. Clear? Cloud. Now we dance. Hang on, he's tough. Let's see. He takes your bishop, knight to c4, pawn to a7, rook to block. He takes your queen. It's all over but the crying. Try, uh, pawn to a6. It's better. He's heading east. He's hailing a cab. Pope unit 6 has video on him, 100 yards back. Send an OPD to new picks on Miles. Have him establish a 10 block perimeter around the wharf, sir. Should you call the director? No. This is the first time the Miles has been out in the open in two years. The director has no idea you're about to cut a deal. There is no deal. We use Samuel and Joshua to get to Miles. We bring them all down. Nobody's going anywhere, Ray. This time, he's not getting away from me. Just give me the scoop. So you gonna pop the question or what? Say, I'm just saying. You know, you move in with the Lady of the Ring usually comes next. Bro. It's been two weeks. And? Yeah, you've lived with like 14 different girls. Well, yes, I did, but I'm sexier than you. <laughs> I mean, a freakishly large man such as yourself is gonna keep a fine woman like Molly, you're gonna have to put her in cuffs. ETA, two minutes. Cameras are up inside the wall. First position. All teams, on my mark. We get Miles to lead us to the location of the guns. We proceed with extract. Okay, so this how this rodeo is gonna work. You give me the briefcase. I give you the PDA with the coordinates of the weapons. It's all very simple. No. I can't do this. Don't you do this, you son of a bitch. You can't. Do what? I set you up. <sighs> the FBI knows you're here. They're watching us right now. They? They know you're here. And now I'm never gonna see my brother again. Twenty on Josh. Samuel's gonna try to get his brother. Make a deal. Ray, right, pick up the phone. The FBI told us exactly where they were positioned. Go around. Okay. You all right? It's gonna bruise like a bitch.
lucky I didn't aim any lower. Man, it's just like those pansy ass feds. I mean, they call us, we jump right away. We call them cities under seven feet of water. Hey, five days, take it easy. Those guys skin my ass, Danny, they really do. Look at this guy. Arms trafficking, espionage, murder. Hell, he even sold two dirty bombs in Paris last year. Interpol says he's got two more on the market. Like the city needs more to deal with? I mean, really, why can't they take that crap someplace else? Kansas, Iowa, Helsinki. <laughs> All units were in black FBI request assistance, sending target information. Eight male suspects, three vehicles heading to Lake Pontchartrain Causeway. Sounds like the feds dropped the ball again. Surprised. <laughs> Someone broke into the safe house. They took Joshua and killed our agents. He did it again. How do you want to proceed with the convoy? Well, take him. Take him. I threw in an extra 5% for treating my brother and I so well. Was it any trouble getting him out? For me? Nah. For the two guards I had to kill? Maybe. He's waiting at the airfield? Yeah, he's there right now. Why don't you give him a call? You know what the funny thing is, Sam? If I hadn't have found out the FBI was holding your brother as a bargaining chip to catch me, you'd have gone along with this whole double cross without so much as a consideration. And I'd be out of my hard-earned cash. The FBI would probably have me in custody. And you and your douchebag brother would be holding hands somewhere in the south of France. Yeah? Hello? I'm sorry, Joshua can't come to the phone right now, bro. Thanks for the ride. with one hand, quietly slip out the back with the other. Tell me. I can finally afford that pony that you've always wanted. <laughs> I'll drive. is still at large. Looking for Gray Van, Louisiana Plates, Alpha Golf, November 803. Stand by. Unit 14 en route for lower nine. Oh. Uh, my bad. I didn't even see that guy. Stop that car. That's the girl. The girl in the car. Dispatch. We're looking for an Irish dude in a gray van. You think this is a good idea? Just ask her the questions. Such a waste of time. Bye. 
License and registration, ma'am. Evening, officer. We've got uh, what seems to be the problem. Evening. License and registration, please. Yeah, of course. Hope I'm not in any sort of trouble. How does everything look? Oh, outstanding. But tell me, what's a pretty lady like you doing driving all by herself through a neighborhood like this? Sometimes I like to be alone. Sometimes I don't. Uh, give me a second. Yeah, no problem. Here, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Listen. Here's my card. You know, for those times when you don't. Yeah, it's gonna open the trunk. Oh, I'm working my shit over here. What are you doing? Ask her. I'm gonna need you to pop your trunk. Just got interesting. I got this. 10 13, officer down. You all right, man? Oh, yeah. get you? oh he shot me in my ass. In your ass? Shut Take pressure on it. Three minutes to EMS. No, Danny, I know that. Look, you wait for backup. Don't be a cowboy. Danny! Just one on foot. Left or right? I don't know, baby. You watch that side, I'll watch this side. Got it. Sit on foot. Parallel to Duquesne. Suspects in a gold BMW. Here he is. Where do I go, Miles? What do I do? Left on St. Claude, right on Montmartre. We cross the bridge, we get on the jet, we never see the New Orleans Police Department again, I promise. Still on foot pursuit. Subjects headed towards the marina. It's like two blocks to the bridge. Home free.
in the air now! Miles? Now! Run! Stay in the vehicle! Stay in the vehicle! Hands up! Now! Who are you? On the ground! What's your name? Officer Fisher. I remember you. On the ground. trying to figure out what's worse, man. You're shooting at this table or you're shooting at the range? Oh, he's got chokes, huh? I'll take those, Jesse. Hey, my mom, this might be a little strange, but Danny here wants to know if I get them sex. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah, inquire. <laughs> <got to know. laughs> Don't worry about him, darling. You're safe. We had him neutered. He's safety first. <laughs> get an animal change, man. <laughs> hey, a toast. Right on. To my partner. One year ago tomorrow, we made detective. Yeah, and all because of my outstanding police work, huh? Okay, all right. Maybe it had something to do with the fact that you captured an international arms dealer. <laughs> hey, but seriously, bro, I mean, from patrols in the lower ninth to this. That never bother you. What? What, the mandated pay raise, the flashy new badge? <laughs> Benefits of being a minor celebrity? Hell no. You just never think about what would happen if. We just stayed put and called for backup that night like we were supposed to. Uh, aside from the fact that I wouldn't have a bullet hole in my ass cheek? Yeah, besides that. Yeah, no, Danny, not at all. You know what? Neither should you. Just saying. The girl dies that night, we get promoted. Can I get a cup? That's it? I got to. Oh, come on. It's fellas' night out. One more. One more? We've had like six more. I gotta go home. Why? Because that beautiful woman, that annoying dog, oh, they're waiting for me. All right, all right, I can't argue with that. All right, man. Good luck. Oh, come on, son. I don't need luck. This ain't about luck. Water on the floor. Look at Shorty. I don't know. Phil's gonna be here in a few minutes. <sighs> That's all I need. Put another one of that guy's kids through college. This is not a big deal. This is our home. Yeah, and apparently our home is made Stop. of durable Stop. paper mache. Stop. Stop. Look, I have to go to the hospital. I'm doing another night shift. I'm putting you and Shorty in charge. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Sleeping in the guest room. There's leftover pork chops. Make sure you feed Phil when he's done saving our house. Love you guys. Dude, didn't I tell you two months ago that you had to replace the stop valve? What stop valve? Look, I told you it had a crack. Said you'd take care of it yourself, save a little cash. <sighs> Spent all afternoon underneath that sink. I was gonna get to it. When, two months ago? That's when I just bought the new car. I was trying to save some cash. I can't handle this. I, I might be late. Molly. Danny, what? Look, I need a little help here, OK? I mean, first it was the gas bill and the air conditioning, and now the sink. I mean, I love you. I just I need to know that I can trust you with these things. That's all, OK? I'm sorry. There you go. Molly, wait. Oh, I'll see you in the morning, OK? Dude, sorry I didn't.
didn't mean to make a ruckus, but a plumber's got a plumb. You want a little advice? It's the ones that go underneath the sink. Those are the ones that you don't want to have walk away. Yeah. Is this Officer Fisher of the New Orleans Police Department? Detective Fisher. Who's calling? This is Miles Jackson. How you been? Why the hell are you calling me? Say hello. <laughs> Chat about the weather, see if you fancy a quick bite. Yeah, prison food tastes like shit. Yes, it does. One of the many reasons that I left. Uh, I put you there, Miles. I'm pretty sure I'd know if you were out by now. Really, Danny? Well, I'm sorry to tell you, but I think you might have been left out of the loop on this one. Okay. So where are you? Close enough to smell Molly in the shower while you were taking your little nap. It's a real shame about the plumbing, because I was really starting to enjoy the show. Danny, where are you going? I don't know where you are or what you're doing. You come anywhere near me and Molly, I swear to God. Danny, please, shut up. You killed the love of my life. That was an accident, Miles. Oh, and poor Phil. He was really looking forward to those pork chops. Phil! Phil, get out of the house! an accident <laughs> okay you listen very carefully to me Danny it's our anniversary one year ago today whether by dumb luck or uncompromising skill you bested me and as such today we're going to have our rematch I just took round one the last time we met you took from me what can never ever be replaced and for that I am going to take from you now, I just wonder, do you think Molly is going to be able to trust me? Miles! Miles! Keep him safe.
I'll let you boy. Hank, call DOT. Have them stall the Thomas Jefferson Ferry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on, Danny? Slow down. Miles Jackson. He broke out of prison. I don't know how. But if we don't stop that ferry in the next 30 seconds, I'll never see Molly again. All right, all right. DOT, I'm on it. Pick up! Whoa, whoa, Detective Danny Fisher. Secure this area now. Ladies and gentlemen, hold it. Stop for a minute. Hey. Where's she? She's gone. She just gets on the ferry and she's gone. Hey, hey, calm down. Calm down. Maybe she's just on the streetcar on her way to the hospital. No, man. no, no, no. You don't understand. He said I took from him who could never be replaced. He's gonna kill her. Hey, Danny. Danny, that's not gonna happen, okay? We're gonna find her, we're gonna get her back. Molly, come on, pick up. Pick up! Molly Porter's phone. Let me talk to her. How do you know she's not dead already? I'm just teasing, Danny. Come on. Come on, where's your sense of humor? Here, yeah, say hello to your boyfriend. Danny, please! We're in a silver vein! Molly! Molly, where are you? That one was for free. The rest you'll have to earn. I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna hunt you down and I'm gonna kill you. Well, you know what? I look forward to that, Danny. It's a game. What, you like games, don't you? Mousetrap, Monopoly, Naked Twister. This one's called 12 Rounds. Round one, I took your house. Round two, I took Molly. The only way to keep her alive, you do exactly what I say when I say it. If you're still standing after all 12 rounds, well then, you'll have won her back. You gotta be kidding me. You can't expect me to believe that you're gonna keep me... Well, yeah, you'll believe what I tell you to believe, Danny. I don't think you've got much choice. Okay, round three. In 15 minutes, I will be calling a particular cell phone in the city. Why don't you return to where we first met, see if you can pick up my scent once again. Okay, uh... Molly said she was in a silver van, okay? They can't be more than six blocks from here. Put out an APB. See if we can get a trace on Molly's cell. Okay. place no this is where we stopped the car this is where it started and this is where he shot me in the ass but i don't see anything how much time uh we got 10 minutes i definitely think we're in the wrong place danny no wait i could be wrong that's that's not from katrina that's today's date you're right that's a code uh we got, we got degrees and we got clocks yeah those aren't real clocks though there's there's no hours Countdown? No, no, no. There's, there's uh, two degrees, two clocks. Degrees, minutes, seconds. Thanks. Longitude and latitude. That's a location. That's where we're going to find the phone. Come on. Longitude and latitude. How the hell do you know about this stuff, Danny? Eighth grade geography, brother. Let's go. OK, read them back to me. No, 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 no. 29 degrees, 57 minutes, three seconds. Yeah, got it. 317 Decatur. 
317 Decatur. Yeah, that's my brother's firehouse. Hey, bro. Doing an all-day ping-pong tourney. Why don't you come on down? You at the station? Why are you shouting? Get everybody out. There may be a bomb in the house. I'll be there in two minutes. I need the computer's patch. I need a full phone bank. Everybody out? Yeah. Danny, you really think this guy put a bomb in the firehouse? This guy blew up my house, he took Molly. I have no idea what he's gonna do next. 15 seconds. All right, he said he was gonna call a cell phone, a particular cell phone, here. Everybody, cell phones out. Five, four, three, two, one. extra minutes on the next task. And speaking of the devil, there's the bell for round four. There's a fire in the Orleans Savings and Loan. In the memory chip of the phone you're holding are the numbers of two security deposit boxes located on the 10th floor. To win, simply grab those boxes by 555 exactly. Or there's going to be an early knockout. You gotta be shitting me. Uh, I, not enough time. I'm just gonna come in. Yeah. I'll be right there. Hey, hey. Telecom is up on your phone. They just think they found the van that Miles used to take Molly. I'm gonna go back and set up a war room, all right? Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Focus. Molly needs you to focus, all right? We gotta do this. You gotta help me find her. When have I ever let you down? Huh? Alright. Alright. Go get this done. Detective Fisher. Yeah. Ray Santiago, FBI. This is Inspector George Aiken. We understand that Miles Jackson's resurfaced in the area. What'd you just say? Miles Jackson. We heard he tried to contact Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guy breaks out of prison. FBI knows about it. Nobody tells me. We understand that you're upset, Dan. Upset really, right none now. of your business. Now, you keep on crying about what you did and didn't know. All you could tell us everything that happened this morning since you woke up. That is, if you want your girl back. Thank you, too. Let's move up. Danny. Get your rod. Well, your best chance, Danny. Tell us what we want to know. We'll tell you what you want to know. <laughs> I'm gonna talk as fast as they drive. It was a prison break in Florida two weeks ago. Miles and the inmates took the guards, killed the warden, and demanded 30 cars to drive out of the prison. And you gave them to him? It wasn't exactly our choice, Danny. The Bureau gave them cars with kill switches and remote door locks. The inmates get three blocks away from the yard. National Guard comes in, puts everyone back in their cells. Everyone except Miles. Would you please just shut up? You're killing me with the wine. You have no idea what you're up against, do you? I mean, I know you arrested him, but you still don't know. The fact Miles Jackson has your girlfriend, that interests me very little. The fact that he's done something that he never does, the fact that he's shown himself in the city, that interests me quite a bit more. You want to catch Miles, that's fine. I want to keep Molly alive, and I know what I got to do. Stay the hell out of my way. I guess he didn't hear me about the whining. Sir, this is exactly what Miles wants. We should stop Danny before somebody gets hurt. Danny? What, are you best friends now? If Danny keeps playing the game, Miles is distracted. Miles is distracted, he might make a mistake. 
and I'll bury him. How much time? Six minutes. Work on ten, guys. Come on, let's go, let's go. Two minutes ago, Molly Porter was taken from the Canal Street Ferry. All right, we need every security camera, every possible witness, every vehicle plate number. This asshole calls again. I want to know where he is. I want to know what he's doing. I want to find him before he so much as thinks about touching one hair on her head. All right, this could be your girlfriend, could be your wife, could be any one of us. All right, this asshole cannot win. <laughs> Five ninety, five ninety one. Right there. Seven minutes to cross the 23 city blocks between here and the Nickel Street Wharf. Arrive at the wharf any later, the bomb goes off. The other box contains the clue to the next round. See, in your time constraints, you might want to use the fire truck for this one. Oh, yeah. But don't forget to wear the hat and use the siren. Seven minutes? We want you to be out of the building in seven minutes. That's if we take the stairs. Danny. She's safe. I don't want this guy having another chance. Anchor this down. Danny. Anchor it down. Danny, you can't do this!
No, he's using an encrypted signal. We can't even pull a number to start a trace. What's that sound, Danny? Driving a fire truck! Are you sure that's such a good idea right now? Stay with him. Shut down the timers, Miles. I'm here. Well done, Danny. But I'm sorry to say, you seem to be a bit late to the party. signals the start of the next round. Oh, you're finally starting to get the hang of this. I want to speak to Molly. How about I do you one better? How about I show her to you? As I said, the clue to the next round is in the box you so deftly hung on to. You put two and two together, you might have quite the reunion. Tell me you didn't kill anybody with that thing. I need a saw. switched out your SIM card. We're tapped into your phone. We can track you wherever you go. Miles will call again, Danny. When he does, keep him on the line for 30 seconds. That's all we need to trace Miles the call. phone's encrypted. He can't trace it. It's funny. We're the FBI, not Mayberry PD. All we need is 30 seconds. All teams, listen up. Listen up. We have a location. It's the Hotel Monteleone. I repeat, it's the Hotel Monteleone. I need SWAT, and I need K-9, and I need all of you there. Now! <laughs> Blue 
Blue team, seal all the exits. I need snipers on the roof. Shut down all communication in and out of the building. And start with the dog, Ray. Pull the tapes. I need to know what room this key is for. Where's your control room? Right this way. Thank you. It's clean. Clear. Clear. Fisher. Get the teams ready to act. All right. That's it. That's Miles. Stop it right there. What time was this? It was like 30 minutes ago. He's writing something down. It's a sign. What's it say? We're still here. All the exits are locked down. Hey, we just found Miles on camera. Stand by for location. Yeah, hold on. He's, uh, he's talking to somebody. They're leading him somewhere. Who is that? It's Willie. I'm gonna go find Willie. Show me everything. I need a location. So Miles rented the SUV last week in Lafayette. Left the dummy address. Now we're tracking the ID on the security deposit boxes and no working accomplices, but so far nothing. What are we missing? This guy doesn't plan everything and not leave a trail. All right, let's go over the prison break again. All right. Miles and the boys take the yard. But Miles is the only one who escapes. All right, how many of these other guys got in the cars but then wound up back in their cells? 43, but the FBI already talked to him. Give me the warden on the phone. You got it. He gave Miles the access code to the security element. It goes all the way to the basement. I'll meet you there. Hey, sorry if I did something wrong before. This guy, he had all the right papers. Said he was here to service the air conditioning. It's OK. You didn't know. This thing still works? I'm well, the oldest in the city. I let him this far. Said he'd go the rest of the way on his own. Wait. Was air conditioner ducks? They go straight to the top? Yeah, the vent out to the roof. Take me there. Sign a mile. So where's fish? service. Well, what's this one? There's supposed to be a phone there, right? Uh, yeah, but... Told you I'd show her to you, Danny. Danny, if you're feeling this, round six has already started. I'm sure you've met your new friend, Willie. Sorry, Willie. Nothing personal. Just the wrong place at the wrong time. At the conclusion of this message, you'll have 60 seconds before the elevator refalls to the ground. With 60 seconds, limited resources, and Willie's unfortunate girth, there's only time for one of you to survive. Who lives and who dies, that is your decision. For the lucky, the clue to round seven is framed in the lobby. For the other, at least you'll be a lot thinner. Danny, he made me read this to you. We have... 
Is that for real, man? I can't, Dad. I gotta wipe the kids, man. Where's the security hatch? I got a radio. There's no time. How do I open this thing? You gonna leave me here? No, we'll watch the clock. The latch, man. I'll talk. Look for the latch up there. Right, I got it. Stay right there. I'll get you out. Oh, shit, I can't fit through there. All right, big man. Let's go. Okay, it's too no, no, far. No, no, you gotta pull. It's your only hope. Give me your hand. Come on. Come on, let's go. Come on. Uh, come on, you can reach it. Come on. It's too far, man. Come on, you can make it. Come on. Oh. Pull. Uh. Billy, come on, come on. You gotta get up, buddy. Come on. How much time? That's in 40 seconds. That means we need to work together. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. 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 Danny, Miles didn't give you enough time. Hey, hold it, hold it. Hey, get me Terry. Somebody bring me Terry. Come on, set it up. All right. 30 seconds. Yeah. Danny, you sound upset. I did everything you asked, Miles. You had no reason to kill him. I didn't, Danny. You had the choice to save him. It was your round to win. Bullshit! Screw your choices. Screw your rounds. Are you giving up on me? Because if you want to stop playing, I'm sure other arrangements can be made. No. All right, so. As Molly said, the clue to the next Molly round. Said Molly said nothing. I just watched the man die in there, and I don't even know if Molly's still alive. Excuse me? Uh, keep him on. I need, I need a minute to figure this out. Yeah, well, there's nothing to figure, Danny. Is the FBI trying to trace this call? Let me guess. First it was your friends in the police department who realized the cell was encrypted. Then it was the FBI. George Aiken and all those wonderful little toys. Hold for position. Everybody hold for position. I must say, I really am touched. How you've all come together for this little affair. Not enough time. Yeah. So, why don't we start over again, see if it's that much fun the second time around? Or maybe. So, 
As Molly said before, the clue to the next round is framed in the lobby. A picture of a lonely man, which is how you'll end up if you don't play nice. If you try and trace my call again, I am going to start cutting Molly's toes off. So, how about I call you again in two minutes? Would that give you ample time to grieve? We love to sing. Miles says hello. This isn't working. Before today, the feds have been up on Miles' cell phone a grand total of one time. It's working just fine. If Danny keeps doing this, a lot more people are going to get hurt. Don't answer the phone. What the hell do you think you're doing? Listen to me for a second, all right, Danny? Willie can be the last person who... Look, answer the goddamn we'll phone. Find Shut up! Out. Answer the goddamn phone! It's Claiborne in Toulouse. Well done, Danny. I must say, I am impressed with your detective skills, but with all the help you've been getting from the FBI, yeah, it seems just a little bit unfair. I'm playing the game, Miles. It's all that counts, right? How very true, but... You know, it's time to see you play for yourself for a change. Be at the location in the photo in 10 minutes. You come alone, and you'll have a 50-50 chance of having the time of your life. We're more than halfway through, Danny, and I've got a little bit of a surprise for you. Don't be a hero, Ray. It's not in your pay grade. Danny, we got two teams, three blocks out. What do you see? I don't see anything. He said 10 minutes, Danny. Tell me you've got something. Oh, Get ready to be happy. I got a pissed off member of the Black Liberation Army is what I got. Miles had him kill a couple guards during the prison break and then left the brother behind to take the fall. When can you get him to talk? Yeah, as soon as I get the judge to sign the warrant. Give me 10 minutes. I'm gonna need it in two. You got a 50-50 chance. It's the bus. I'm getting on. You two lovebirds care for a sit? We 
göre geçi vardır. Is he just talking to someone? Just stay calm, Ali. Ah, oh, well, look at this. Surprise, surprise. Testing. Testing one. Is that Miles? Does he have Miles on the phone or is he there? Miles is on the bus. All teams, we have a confirmation. Miles Jackson is on the bus. Proceed with Op 2 Delta and get me a sniper team out here now. This is it. This is his mistake. We got SWAT ready. Why don't we just take him out now? No, we stopped that bus now. He turns us into a bloodbath. We know where he is. We're taking our shot. Alpha 1, set up and prepare to stop the target. Can't have you running off now, can I? Round seven, Danny. To win, you simply let me walk away. But if my thumb leaves the surface of this screen for any reason, and I don't put it back within 10 seconds or less, well, then you lose the round. And two things happen. First of all, a small charge explodes and fires a three-inch nail into Molly's heart. I'm aiming for the right atrium, but we'll see what happens. 30 seconds later, after she's dead, a second larger charge will explode and they'll be cleaning everyone up off this bus in pieces. What can I say, Danny? I just like to play the game. I didn't mean for Erica to die. I don't think that matters. That's the one I want. Set up on the 10 overpass. SWAT team, this is Agent Santiago. Take position in the north on the interstate overpass of Perdido. Await instructions. Here, catch. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you should see the look in your faces. Miles, let her go. It's between you and me. Well, I'm afraid if I let Molly go, Danny, you won't play the game. Look at those eyes. You're thinking, can I get to the phone on time? Why did Miles ask to meet me here? Fuck you! Very clever. I asked you here, Danny because I wanted to see the face of a man who knows he can't win. The face of a man whose life is sitting five feet in front of him, yet he can't just reach out and grab her. Huh. Is there something funny? Yeah, there is. He's gonna win, and then he's gonna kill you. She's a feisty one, isn't she? Free cover man on the west side. Got it. Jason, your scout. Set up section one. Yes, sir, for team one. TRT team in place. What if I don't believe you? Sorry? What if I think that vest is for show? Pick everybody up in pieces. Miles, that bomb blows. You die too. What's keeping me from reaching over there and kicking the shit out of you? Nothing. But I know you won't. Because you're predictable, Danny. You think I'm lying? Here, take it. All teams, hold on my mark. So that's a 75-yard shot through a moving bus window. One sniper's got to break the glass, another one's got to get the hit. Are you sure this is how you want to do this? Team Delta, prepare for visual. Teams Bravo and Charlie hold for extract one shot survive. This is Delta One. We have confirmed subject, but no clear shot. No clear shot. Female hostage is in and out of the target line. Don't want to take it? Fine. Well, here's something that you will want. Clue to round eight. Sniper Team One, you have the green light. I repeat, you have the green light. Take him out. You know you're going to kill that girl. I'm gonna kill Miles. On my mark. Go. Get down! Target's not down. Officer 
Fisher, I didn't know you cared. <clears throat> Come on. Man. Molly! Hey, give me a 20 on miles, somebody. Get me a 20 on miles. Negative. Lost them in the crowd. Listen, I need you to stop everything, get me on the 10 in the night. Hear me? Listen, I need you to stop everything. Listen here. Ready to do this? Because I killed him! You knew she was there and you took the shot. You listen to me, you little shit. We had him. This was over. No! You shoot Miles, everybody on that bus is dead. Now you know that, did you, you prick? She had a bomb on her chest. Shoot Miles, everybody dies. You got a little something right there. Okay, Danny? All right? I had her in my arms, man. I told her I was gonna save her and I let her go. Well, there's nothing you could do, bro. Molly's gonna die. It's my fault. She's not gonna die, Danny. Look, you gotta stop blaming yourself. I can't. You know why? Because Miles is punishing Molly for something I did. Danny, you're doing your job. I don't care! Miles doesn't care. Me and him. An eye for an eye. I was three feet. I was three feet away. But I couldn't make a move. Stop. Just stop it, man. You won the round. And most importantly, you bought us some time, and now I got a name. Remember the convict you wanted to cut a deal? Yeah. All right, he said Miles played chess every day in the prison yard with a guy named Anthony DeLusso. Best part? DeLusso got paroled three weeks before the prison break, and he's in town. All right, Jansen's on his way to get the address from his P.O. right now. What the hell are you doing here? Come on, I knew my boy needed it. Wait. Wait, wait. Here we go. Go for Hank. Yeah. Okay, tell Phelps I'll meet him there in 10 minutes. Bingo. You got him. 212 for Dita. Finally getting ahead of this son of a bitch. I told you. I told you I wasn't going to let you down. Hank. Yo. Be careful. What am I not? You know you can't do this alone, all right? Listen to me, Dan. I'm not gonna ask you to stop. I'm just gonna ask you to let me help you, all right? We do this together, we can both get what we want. Round eight. There's five numbers inside this envelope. Let me help you. Choose wisely, and the number you dial will win the round without further action. Choose poorly, and the number you dial will arm one of four devices scattered throughout the city. You now have 60 seconds. If you refuse to dial in that allotted time, all four will be activated, and you'll have yourself quite an adventure. Good luck. Let's run this through the local directory. No directory. They're devices, not locations. Well, that, doesn't, that doesn't make any sense. There's got to be a code then. OK, let's try it. Text. The text message is the, the first one's City Hall. Second one is the convention center. Danny, we got less than 10 seconds and we got three numbers left. You gotta pick one. Sorry, Danny, you lose. And now round nine is gonna be so much fun. Very shortly, streetcar 907 will enter the downtown area on Canal Street. You just disarmed the brakes and the communication radio. Your task is simply stop the streetcar before it smashes through the end of the line and everything else in its path. Let's take that one. Come on, let's go. Yeah, this is Special Agent Ray Santiago of the FBI. I have an emergency. Streetcar 907 has lost its brakes and it's speeding toward the riverfront. Just keep following the 10. We'll intersect them at Canal. Yeah. No, this is not a prank phone call. My name is Special Agent Ray Santiago of the FBI. I need to talk to somebody that can help. She put me on hold. No, no, no. 
We're on our way to intercept right now. Is there anyone there that can help us make this decision? You shut down the power. You shut down the power. The streetcar comes to a stop. Can't you guys just shut down the power? Miss one more time for the cheap seats. This is not a prank phone call. Unit 23, you guys in position? All clear along the perimeter. We got four units waiting around the corner. Copy that. Let's see who's home. Take him? Negative. Negative. Suspect is on the move. Let's see where he's going. Phelps and Al follow him. Once we cut the power, that thing's not gonna stop. I got an idea.
Next suspect is entering the Dixie Welding Factory on Fitzpatrick. Wait for my go. She okay? Okay, dog? Yeah, she's okay. Yeah. Dog, uh, we gotta start taking the bus. No, oh, that'd be great. That's a great idea. Why don't you guys go ahead and do that? Thank you. They're gonna shut off the power. It's getting a little too easy, Miles. What, are you getting soft on me? I bet you give me something that's gonna be a challenge, huh? You sound pretty pleased with yourself, Danny. Why, because you stopped the trolley? Or because you went ahead with your own round? Very admirable. Okay, welding factory, second floor hallway. If round 10 is your best friend taking Anthony DeLuso, then round 11 is me taking your best friend. Hey, pick up. Hello. It's going to voicemail. All right. It's going to You are persistent. You honestly didn't think a man like Miles wouldn't have a plan for something like this. Well, whatever the plan is, apparently you're not part of it. Somebody on the phone, I'm trying to get you a straight answer, but nobody's got anything. How can you not get a straight answer? I told you. Miles knew about it. He knew about everything. He knew about Hank. He knew about DeLuso. He was at the yeah, warehouse. I hear what you're saying. It's been a half hour, man. Then, yeah, Something. Anything. Yeah. There was an explosion at the factory. Firefighters on the scene now, but Hank was inside. 
There's no way he could have made it. I'm sorry. Danny, wait. Danny, wait, wait, wait. Get off of me! Okay, look. Three years ago, Ma stole three stingers from a U.S. military shipment in Iraq. We tracked them to Pakistan, but the day the deal went down, I lost Miles, and I lost the guns. Two days later, one of those stingers shot down a 747 out of Islamabad. This was the only thing I could find intact in the rubble. What I'm saying is I made a mistake here. I forgot why I carry this. This isn't about Miles. This is about the people he's hurt and the ones he's going to hurt. Guys, I'm never going to see her again. Don't say that. Look, yes, you are. We got one round left. Now, and I know Miles better than any person alive. Let me help you. Finale. It is round 12, and this time we won't be going to the judges' scorecards. In 17 minutes, it will be exactly one year since Erica's death. And I have to ask, will Molly suffer a similar fate? Miles, you don't have to do this. Too late. You know, you've done well to survive this long. Now, all you have to do is find her. She has a touch phone strapped to her chest along with some other more explosive items, except this time, only your thumbprint, only your touch can stop the timer. Tell me where she is. Are you sorry for what you've done? Yes, Miles, I'm sorry. Then perhaps maybe you should pay her a visit, tell her so yourself. It's been fun, Danny, but game over. Pay Erica a visit? It's the cemetery. Where is she buried? Where is she buried? I need you to pull the cemetery records of all Orleans Parish. Last name Kessen, K-E-S-S-E-N. First name Erica, that's what it's seen. This is Ray Santiago of the FBI. I need a police escort. We are Canal and Royal heading out of the CBD. Battery Cemetery. Yeah, you tell whoever gets there, don't touch anything. I'm the only one that can defuse that bomb. We know, Danny. now, but remember, this is Miles. The cemetery might just be the first step. Bullshit! Why have I been doing this shit all day? Danny. If you wanted to kill us, you should have just done it when you had a chance. Danny, you're full. Yeah. Danny, Chuck Jansen. Listen, two things Hank had me working on, they're not making any sense. I ran a trace on all five numbers from earlier. They were all connected to the device under the streetcar. All five numbers. Not only that, Miles had remote cameras in the elevator shaft. We pulled the tapes. He blew the device early, Danny. You still had five seconds to save Willie. Like I said, it was the last thing Hank had me working on, but... Danny, 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 why are we stopping? Willie was always gonna die. What are you talking about? Miles, that security camera's in the elevator, saw I was gonna save him and blew the charge early. And all those numbers, all five of them, were connected to the same streetcar. You already told me once, George. I arrested this guy. I don't even know. This is your guy. What, what am I missing? Joshua. Every time he plays, what does Miles want? He wants to win. Miles wants to be the guy that nobody can beat. No, the deal with Samuel and Joshua, I mean, he went through a lot of trouble to get some revenge. But what else did we find in the car? Diamonds. He steals from the US military. He sells it for a profit. He's had Molly for over three and a half hours. Not once has he mentioned ransom. This isn't about revenge. It is about the money. Hey. Give me all the information we got on the security guard from the hotel, please. Willie Dumain has a second job as a Homewood security guard. Hi, I'm Tom Baxter. 
Office called, said uh, Willie Domain's a no-show and picking up his shift. Thank you. This guy said it's running all day. For one second, we just gotta stop and think. Today, what did I actually do? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Does this even matter? I mean, you're still the only one who could deactivate that bomb. He took my house, he took Molly. What else would he do to get you to play? What else happened at the hotel? Blew the gas lines. They evacuated three city blocks. Three city blocks? Three city blocks. Give me a list of those buildings. Any one would have gone back to that very streetcar. I had to stop the streetcar. No, 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 no. You had to cut the power. After Katrina, when the power's out all over the city, Homewood Security comes in to move all the unprotected cash. Wait a second. What was that last one? Holy shit. One of the buildings that we evacuated is a temporary holding facility for the Bureau of Engraving and Printing. That's the goddamn mint. Glad y'all got here. Our backup generator's gonna run out at midnight. The Fed's been pulling all the old hundreds and fifties out of circulation. It's the entire southeast a lot. Total's just over a hundred million dollars. Hey, Ray, you go with SWAT to the Mint and you shut everything down. All cars, all pedestrians. You stop it and you lock it in the quarter. Hey, we got eight minutes to get you to the cemetery. What you want, Miles? Not till we get Molly. Thanks. Thank me when it's over. down the city? How's he getting the money out? Only emergency vehicles are leaving the quarter. Miles isn't getting anywhere. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Molly's at the cemetery. Nope. That asshole even told me to wear the hat and use a siren. I did today that Miles didn't plan. He makes sure I wreck the fire truck so he can steal it. He threatens my brother so I'm not thinking straight. He shows me Molly to keep me in the game. It's obvious. If she's still alive, Molly's his ticket out. I need to speak with hospital security. Wake up, baby. We're here. Like I say, we will both live happily ever after. Now, where are those buddy bags?
Cordon off University Hospital. Let nobody in or out. Think he can fly us to Tahiti in this thing, yeah? Get in. They're here. Taking off. Eagle One, is that you up there? You have not been authorized for takeoff. Eagle One, requesting a take. Why? Stalling on me, darling, are you? If you want to fly this thing, you go ahead. Yeah, well, how about you teach me? Danny, but this time you're not going to get saved by the bell. Hold on, Danny! Hold on! Danny, we're out of time! I can't control it anymore! You lose! Danny, stop it! We're going down! Officer Fisher! One last move. Remember the vest from the bus? Knockout.
<laughs> I never doubted you. That makes one of us. Helicopter explosions. No big deal. Let's get you home. About the house. <laughs> 